You can't, like, punch things in a computer and have a hat pop out. You know, it has to be done, you know, by hand. And so, so artisans who work in the theater, like we train here at Penn State, are valuable everywhere. You know, our kids go right into the industry because we're teaching them these skills that people need desperately, which is kind of wonderful. This past summer, we didn't have a, a, a first year group of grad students and we decided we weren't going to London for one year. So I had like one year that I could do this. Like the, the, there was like only one chance. And so um, I started in like August making inquiries of the University of Bournemouth. And I said, I'm, you know, I have these skills and I've made a lot of hats but we're doing a production of Titanic and I would like to learn to make bigger hats and things that would be more of the period of 1910, which I've never done. I brag about it all the time here because like for two weeks I got to do one thing only and sit at a table for 10 hours a day making hats and just really concentrate on learning a new skill, which was like really fantastic. It's almost like they want to be born and have their own ideas of what they want to be. And even hats that I start, they don't necessarily end up being what they, I thought they were when I started when they finish. And they had these purple velvet flowers, which I thought were really fabulous. So I thought, okay, so I'm going to do something in the purple range. And then in one of the fabric stores on Shepherds, which I found this fabulous black and purple stripe that became the, the, the bow and the edging on this. And then we had to find another fabric, that we, and we thought this went like really nicely with it. My parents were both teachers, and so like I was that kid who was in the library that they say, why don't, you, why don't you go out on the playground, you know? And I was like so happy, like in the world of books and whatever. And sometimes I'd get a job, and I like I literally like skipped the library because like oh my god, I'm gonna go today and research Vivian Lee today. And I was like the happiest kid on the planet that day. And um, so like history's huge. I have to be sort of knowledgeable about psychology and, um, and um, relationships and history and art history and world history and like you have to have kind of a knowledge of all these things to understand the period of what we're doing. We have people in my department who make these beautiful silk dresses, these beautiful delicate things and I'm, I'm much more like I get to roll up my sleeves and like kind of like muscle this stuff into place and you know fight it into place and put a wire in it and you know make it big, this like really solid thing that'll last through the run of a show. I like that better actually. I can make a dress, it wouldn't be pretty and there'd be a lot of cursing involved but like this I love. <laughs>